Good morning from Fincastle Farm. Today I thought I would talk to you guys about moving tractors. So I think it was in um, late spring I did a video of what moving a tractor actually looks like. But why do we do that? Why do we do it by hand? Uh, I thought I would answer some of those questions. So there's the tractors. You'll see the, the little chicks that I did a video of last week. See how they're getting their feathers? <laughs> so we just moved these chickens this morning. Obviously, they were very hungry. Um, so we moved them by hand because if we used a tractor or a Kubota UTV, it would pull them too fast. So by hand, some of the chickens don't always want to move. So they'll get to the back of the tractor. If we were using something motorized to do this, those chickens' legs would get run over. So it's always a problem. I don't know why they want to look out the back of the tractor when we're moving forward, but they do. And that's why you need to move them by hand. So why do we move them twice a day? So this is, a, I think, a pro of buying from Fincastle Farm. Um, I'm going to show you the where they were at last night. So here's the ground. So you can see they were only there, you know, 12 to 15 hours and you can see what the ground looks like. So you can imagine if I left these chickens, I mean, even 24 hours, it would be okay, but it's not something I wanna do. So when you think about buying chickens from conventional poultry houses, you know, when they don't move them, they're not on pasture, they're not moved, you can imagine what they're living in. And I think that was a great learning experience for me when I started this. Um, the fact that they're on this new grass, um, each day they're not walking around in their poop. Um, some of the problems that can come from that is they can get little places on their feet that get infected. Um, that's one, one problem. Um, they can just have intestinal issues, um, which is why, you know, some chickens have to have antibiotics. Ours do not, but in a, in a regular poultry setting, ours don't need any of those things because, you know, everything's pretty clean. So here they are this morning. So you can see they got fresh new grass and then you can see the old grass. And that was just from, you know, over 12 hours. So uh, I thought that would be educational to you. Honestly, we wouldn't have to move the little chickens that much uh, because they don't make that much of a mess to begin with. But we move them in unison. All six tractors always move together because of our electric fence. We have one um, solar panel, so they have to move together uh, in unison. And the little ones move a lot better than the big ones, honestly. It's like they're really smart and then <laughs> they just decide they don't want to be cooperative when they get older. So I thought you'd find that inter interesting. It's one of the benefits of buying pastured poultry. I see some of your comments saying, why would I pay this much for a bird? You know, it's, they're ethically raised. Uh, you know, I don't have to give them any, um, you know, supplements or, you know, any antibiotics because, you know, they're just happy and healthy. And I thought that would be good for you to see what the ground looks like when they're left um, for just 12 to 15 hours. So hope you found that helpful. Let me know if you'd like to learn about anything else in this process.